So hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Glenn and in today's video well, we're looking at German banknotes again. So I have made a few videos on these and these are one of the best series to get from Germany. That's from, that's my opinion. Uh, but they're also not too expensive. So as you can see, I have a 5 mark, 1917. So this is over 100 years old. 104 from 2021 <clears throat> and while it does have a center fold it is relatively crisp so you can hear the sound that's how you know it's crisp then we have that's how you know it's crisp another one crisp sound and also when you hold it like this it doesn't flop down so that is a crisp note and here we have this one's a little bit floppy so it does flop down uh, but if you bend both sides it does hold its shape but if you put it flat it bends down so it's starting to lose its crispness but you hear that sound that is a crisp sound and then we have some other ones so all of these are relatively crisp and if we take these two Hong Kong notes you can see this one's starting to lose that sound so it, because it has been well circulated you can see it's dirty has a lot of our uh, folds in it it doesn't hold up that well Obviously, if you fold it like that, it's going to hold up. But, you know, it just flops down. This one, hold it, hold it straight. It usually holds its crispness. And there is a crisp banknote. And, you know, most banknotes that you get will be in this condition. And if we look at some polymer banknotes... Uh, these ones are relatively uncirculated. They have a similar sound. So this one's pretty high grade. Uh, do I have any circulated ones here? No, but because it's plastic, it's different. It will hold its uh, shape a lot better, even if it's a well circulated banknote. And I can see if I have one. So I don't keep many well circulated banknotes unless it's a first or last prefix or a special type so here we have one that's pretty circulated it's starting to lose it that flopping type of uh, sound which you get with these ones so that is how that's one way you can tell these are a relatively crisp banknote so when you're looking at uh, banknote grades one of the criteria is crispness of the banknote and that's what we just looked at so when you get some banknotes make sure you check to see if the banknotes crisp so just remember you have the okay, let's take the like the German ones so Take the sound, go like that. Try not to bend it or damage it even more. So it should make a sound similar to that. When you hold it flat like that, while it will start to sag, it won't flop all the way down. So it won't, it won't go like that, which is an indication that the banknote has just lost all of its strength. And also, it should have relatively good color. So anyway, I hope this helps you with uh, banknote crispness and uh, have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time. If you have any comments, leave them down below and give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and also take care out there.